here in this next video about fractions we will be talking about how to simplify them okay this is still in our playlist in the fundamentals of mathematics now so simplifying fractions okay as take note that a fraction is simplified if it is reduced to its lowest terms again if it is reduced to its lowest term so meaning it is simplified and we cannot simplify it anymore a fraction can be simplified by using the greatest common factor or we have that lesson as a greatest common divisor well it is also known as the greatest common factor just just remember for both numerator and denominator or we have the second method finding the prime factors which is also our previous lesson in prime factorization of both numerator and denominator so again we have method one finding the greatest common uh, greatest common divisor or greatest common factor okay um for both numerator and, denom and denominator or finding the prime factors of both of them okay so let's have one example as illustration say we want to simplify the fraction 4 over 6 so pretty much it's pretty it's easy to simplify just by looking at it but what are the two methods for us to have the general concept of it first we find the gcf of 4 and 6 so what's the greatest common factor of 4 and 6 so that is 2 because 4 is 2 times 2 and 6 is 3 times 2 so they have only one common factor which is 2 so divide both of the numerator and the denominator by 2 so if we do that what we have is here 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 and this is the simplified version already okay this is the lowest terms already okay so for number one or there's another method like like i said the prime factors of 4 are 2 and 2 and the factors the prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3 so cancel out the common factors cancel out the 2 in the 4 cancel out the 2 in the 3 so we can see it in this manner 4 is equal to 2 times 2 6 is equal to 2 times 3 cancel out the 2s and then what we can see is the lowest terms or the simplified version okay so that's the two methods in simplifying fractions let's give one more example okay so in this example we have 16 over 28 maybe in this example you know maybe you can pause the video and try it out yourself okay um, get a piece of paper and try it out okay I'll, you can pause the video now okay i think that uh, that is enough so first we'll show you the first method of finding it so what's the greatest common factor of 16 and 28 okay so 16 can be thought of 4 times 4 28 can be thought of 7 times 4 so there's no other common factor but 4 their greatest common factor so what we're going to do is we're going to divide 4 um, both the numerator and denominator so 16 divided by 4 28 divided by 4 so what the what is the least um the lowest four lowest term so that's 4 over 7 the simplified version or we can do the prime factorization again so 16 is 4 times 4 it can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and 28 can be written as 2 times 2 times 7. So just like similarly with our case 1, we can cancel out the common terms. Cancel the 2 here, cancel the 2 here down below. And then we also cancel the 2 here and then the 2 here. In such a way that we're going to simplify what is whatever is left. So we can see here that there's 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And then what we're going to do in the denominator is just copy the 7 since there's no number there or there's a 1 there. Okay, so that's 4 over 7. Pretty much it's still the same with our previous method which is 4 over 7 okay so hopefully you got it there already so we have two methods you just need to choose one actually they're like similar okay in fact so in this slide i'm going to present to you exercises for simplification of fractions so what you need to do here is to simplify fractions we have number one we have number two we have number three number four and number five and try to get a screenshot of this okay and answer it on a separate sheet of paper and i will be presenting the answer key or the solution key for these exercises actually for all the exercises i have given already um, in a future video so you can have the screenshot now okay so i think that's it um don't forget to subscribe so that you will you will be updated when the videos are coming up especially the solution videos 
Okay, so that's it for this video in simplifying fractions. Ho hopefully you got it there. Um, if not, you can always um, you know replay and rewatch. Okay, and don't forget to like. Okay, and subscribe, of course. Okay, so thank you very much and see you soon. Bye bye.